Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to I have no idea what part this is because I'm just enjoying this let's play. <laughs> welcome back to my rags to recycle challenge in which it is actually Thanksgiving. I can't remember the harvest fest there we go i was gonna say i can't remember the simlish version but it's harvest fest so it's harvest fest and it's not gonna be traditional let's be real this couple is anything but traditional and i do have some important updates because we found ourselves a dining table this is a sims one dining table this was from the newbies house which i think it used to be like a smaller like accent table in their version like i think they had like their old school TV on it in which we have this big ass TV but I really want the small one we just haven't found it yet so if we get the antique TV I am hands down replacing it because it fills my cottage core fantasy for these two rather than having this big ass modern TV mind you I might just delete this like already not delete it but I think I might place it in our inventory and just recycle it for bits and pieces because they're never gonna watch that and then I thought this was a dining chair and I was really excited about it because I, I was like okay we might not be able to eat a proper meal but hey at least we have a place to sit unfortunately this isn't a dining seat either this is just a living chair um which is basically I don't know why anyone would have that in their living room because it looks like the most uncomfortable thing to sit your tush on so we're gonna get rid of that so we need to go back to the community lot and actually recycle all of these things I have no idea why but apparently V doesn't have work for the next four days um oh never mind it's changed again she has today off which I'm I'm assuming it's because it's a holiday and therefore the day off is given. We've apparently already done a grand meal. I think that's because V actually found like quite a big dish. I think they found some like ribs or something or a kebab. I can't remember. I think they were like short stack ribs or something, which I didn't even know were in The Sims. We need to try and appease the holiday gnomes, which I'm actually gonna have Alice do. This seems like an Alice thing to do, like talking to the gnomes as if they are real people. Definitely an Alice activity. <laughs> so we are gonna try and appease this gnome. There is like a cheat sheet for these gnomes. I never look at it though, but I feel like this one would like pie. So we're gonna give pie to this one. I'm gonna give salad to this one because it's a rabbit. And then to this one who looks evil as anything, I'm gonna give coffee because big crackhead energy right there. Those eyes scream crackhead energy like this man is summoning coffee i've never <laughs> this is like when an artist would be like i can't draw hands me can't draw hands that's exactly what this gnome's hands are like <laughs> oh i'm sorry i'm sorry oh i don't know what's gotten to me today i've just you know what you guys have all been asking me to get their fun up by having them woohoo in a dumpster so apparently we're all just feeling very horny on main right now and so maybe we'll have these two be thankful to each other by taking their clothes off in the dumpster that sounds like a fun thing to do i mean get down and dirty alice use this so yeah apparently that's the energy we have in this challenge so I'm here for it. I'm honestly here for all of your comments. Like the comment section of all of these videos have been popping off. Also, I don't, I don't know, but I think that the, like these things have just spawned up. Like I don't think that these existed. And I think it's because like our town is getting more green due to the green initiative. So like this apartment has like this green strip on it. Don't ask me why mine doesn't. And oh wait, are there bugs? thought they were dead then apparently the bugs are bugged i saw a lot of that's not meant to be a pun it's not meant to be funny apparently they are bugged like a lot of people are saying that there's just keep dying um before you can actually do anything i knew he had big crackhead energy he just wanted coffee and then this one i'm gonna give pie because he looks like father christmas and we got some seasonal summer plants which is quite good because like this back room is gonna pretty much be decked out we appeased all of them without a cheat sheet. Holy smokes, look at me go. But I am gonna have the girls actually do 
a little bit of parenthood activity, which is strange to say because this is eco lifestyle, but I feel like these two would definitely go and volunteer. I feel like that's a little like activity that these two would get up to. And considering you're all wanting them to dumpster woohoo, I figured why not volunteer and then like grind that gears a little bit that way. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, I've completely forgotten how to volunteer. There we go. We're gonna volunteer with Alice. So we can volunteer at a bake sale, beach cleanup, nursing home, soup kitchen, or walk to fight disease. We're gonna go for volunteer at soup kitchen. The hungry masses are lined up and ready to eat. Lend a hand, grab a ladle and help dish it out. That sounds like the perfect Thanksgiving thing to do. So they're gonna go volunteer and then I think what I'm gonna have them do is go to the bar um, because we haven't really explored Evergreen Harbor a lot. Like we've been to our community center, but we've not really spoken to anyone. We, Bess and um, the other one, Knox, they never came to greet us, uh, which I think was my bad because I hopped into create a sim um, very soon. Oh, Master Crafter, speak of the devil. Ebony wants to come hang out. We're not here right now, we are volunteering. But speak of the devil, Master Crafter Tina Tinker has arrived. Don't think we got a notification for her. Sometimes it'll like pop up and be like, hey, this is broken, I can come fix it for you. And we haven't met anyone yet. So let's go out and meet some friends at the bar, even though V is feeling so dirty. Oh, oh, hit. I mean, that only took her half an hour, but hey, she came. No notification though which is a bit strange. We're gonna go to the bar stinky as anything, but it does look like we've put in like a hard day's graft. And so I think the community are gonna appreciate that. Like I don't think Evergreen Harbor is the place where someone's gonna like turn their nose up at you. They're not gonna turn you down at the door for having like dirt on your clothes. Like, oh, you've been working too hard helping out the community and you now are all sweaty and smell. Nope, can't come in here. Um, so we are gonna go to the caboose. This old train station is now the perfect Perfect place to house a simple bar where people can get together and talk about time when there was an old train station here. So let's head over here. We're gonna go with Alice. We're also gonna invite Carlisle because I really like the man. I think he's great. And I think, should we invite Tina? I feel like we need to start getting to know our community. Like a lot of this pack is based around like knowing your community. And it's a bit weird that I haven't really had any visitors yet. Like I wanted to get to know people and I just haven't seen anyone right now. The only time I see people is when I go to the community lot. So fingers crossed, like maybe Bess or Knox will be hanging out here and we can try and get to know them a little bit. Oh, I was like, what is this? I was like, oh no, is this to do with like an old abandoned train station? It's just apparently night night. So that's fine. We aren't gonna get dressed up as a knight. Oh, we could we could shower in the rain this morning and now we can't do it. And I really want her to shower in the rain. They're both playing in the rain. You are such children and I love it. Oh my goodness. Try and tell me that these two are not perfect for each other. I think you can maybe only shower in the rain on your home lot. Cause V did it this morning, I know for sure. Um, oh, there are actually some nights here. Right, V, why don't you come and order drink for group? <laughs> Can I have tap waters? <laughs> Cause I have 62 simoleons to my name. Um, sparkling water. Should we be the asshat that just gets sparkling water for everyone? Um, no, cause I hate sparkling water. I don't trust anyone who would go out of their way to purchase or drink sparkling water. Like honestly get in the bin it is the devil's drink so we're gonna be cheap we're just gonna get everyone tap water oh my god no wonder we aren't friends with anyone we are the asshole who freaking orders tap water where's alice oh watching tv alice i didn't think that would be you okay we're gonna talk about the rain to tina and we're gonna give her a heartfelt compliment and we're also gonna 
Share Harvest Fest Spirit. Wow, the rooting though. What is going on? Oh, she just walked through a table. God damn. Whoa! I don't have any mods in my game right now either. So this isn't even like modded. Um, let's share Harvest Fest Spirit. Talk about the cloudy weather a little bit. This is how people get to know each other, right? You just talk about the weather. I'm English. That's what we always do. We're gonna enthuse about city planning to Tina and we're also gonna get to know her a little bit and describe a new idea. I feel like V and Tina. I don't know. I, I was gonna say I feel like V and Tina will get on really well, but I think Tina like might get on well with Alice. I mean, she can get on well with both of them. This isn't a competition. I am tending to pit these two against each other very often. She's gloomy. Okay, defo more of an Alice friend then. Cause I feel like Alice has quite a, like a, a down output on life. Not even just down. V is super positive. Like V like will turn any negative situation and stick her optimist hat on and like she will win you over. V, why don't you why don't you come and sit here together? Let's go let's go sit here together. I'm really hoping that Tina doesn't come back. Woo! Cause I want like V to like pull Alice over. V, did you steal someone's drink? We did not pay for that. That is not ours. Oh my goodness. Um uh, no, Alice. No, don't. St oh, actually, yeah, go stargaze. I like how she pulled her aside to even ask her to go stargaze. Like, that's really cute. Like, she didn't want to embarrass Alice in front of everyone. And she was just like, you know what? I'm going to pull you to the side and then ask if you want to go stargazing, which is very sweet. V, can you guys even see the stars here? Is there a... Well, V can't. <laughs> V is definitely under the shelter, so I don't know what stars they are looking at, but whatever floats your boat. I want to be thankful. We haven't been thankful yet, and we're very thankful to Alice. I mean, look at everything she's done for us recently. She has been diving here, there, and everywhere. Leave! Eric just comes over just to rub it in that I smell. You know how I said no one in Evergreen Harbor is probably judgmental about how people like smell or look? Eric is that one judgmental person who's trying to bunch himself into our- No, don't talk to him. No, you're talking to your partner. We can dive for thrills. We're gonna do it. I know they're feeling tired, but I really wanna see the dive for thrills and you guys have all been wanting to see it. This is quite out in the open though. I'm surprised that Alice was the one who initiated that. I mean, there is a tree. So I feel like if Eric wants to be a little bit of a creep, he can't see us right now, can he? No, he is firmly behind the tree. Oh, actually he might be able to see. Who's this? Lily Feng. I would never have thought I would see Lily Feng over here. <gasps> Alice. Alice has actually shocked me. I mean, I guess when they're in there, no one can see who it is. The fact that Alice just initiated that, I'm quaking. As I'm sure V is about to be any second. <laughs> I'm sorry. Harvest Fest was pretty good. V got to do a lot of things that they wanted to do, but not everything. Next year, they hope to do even more. And for Alice, it was awful, and it is 2 a.m. I told you, I told you V was about to be quaking. There's the evidence. I, don't, I mean, I'm sure you guys didn't need it. Oh! I love them. My little gay heart is so happy. Look at the look of love on... I'm screaming. Why are they so cute? And the thing is, like, I probably can't even use this as my thumbnail because YouTube will be like, oh, is that, is that two women lying horizontally? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
This is a crime that in Pride Month I won't be able to use this as my thumbnail. I flipping love them. I mean, I know it feels a bit creepy taking screenshots of this right now, but like, come off it. Like, are these two not the cutest? What the heck? They look so happy. Oh my god, V looks so- I'm- <laughs> I was about to say V looks so in love. Not- not right there. Not when I paused it right there. <gasps> I genuinely, absolutely love them. Oh my word. They seriously couldn't get any cuter in my eyes. You cannot tell me the last night did not bring these two closer together when they're out here cleaning up their apartment together. But- both are starving. So I'm gonna have V put this pile in her inventory. <gasps> Is our candle gone? Dispose of melted candle. Put that in your inventory as well because we can definitely recycle. Is one of these a recycled disciple? Because there's something I feel like I need to point out about the recycled disciple trait. Wow, we have a lot of influence points. How many does, oh. Alice has nine, V has 41. You can see who is the more proactive uh, one throughout. Yeah, so V is a recycled disciple. Basically this trait, and I know that a couple of people didn't know about this. Um, I briefly touched on it in like my gameplay overview from like virtual sims camp. I was gonna say this, and that's why my hands was up in the air. But um, yeah, virtual sims camp, basically I said, if you have a recycled disciple and you notice that some of your stuff is going missing in your house, they actually like get a tent smoothlet if they haven't recycled for a period of time. And then they'll just recycle their own belongings without probably you even noticing. Um, so they'll kind of do like, do you know, when like, um, what are they called? Sticky fingers. What's the trait called? Kleptomaniac. When a klepto sim like swipes something, they just go like that and then you hear like a whoosh noise. That was a terrible recreation of it, but basically you'll do a noise where they like swipe an object and then you'll get bits and pieces. So they swipe their own objects to get bits and pieces. I saw loads of people being like, uh, all my stuff is disappearing and I don't have the like sticky fingers nap on. So like what's going on here? And it's because probably one of your sims is a recycled disciple. It does actually say in like the trait description, like uh, this sim has sticky fingers or something along the lines of that. And that's just what it means. So if you had a recycled disciple and you were like, where the heck is all of my stuff going? It won't go into your inventory either. They literally just like recycle it and take the bits and pieces. Apparently it's a little bit chilly. So I'm gonna get these to change. So change outfit into your cold weather one. I don't think I really paid much attention to their cold weather outfits. So I definitely need to go back and like actually sort that out properly. I'm gonna have Alice, um, somebody come get her. She's, oh, that's not what I wanted. I didn't want an empty dumpster. Um, all of these are empty. I even changed the lot trait. I changed the lot trait to the one that collects like a lot of rubbish and like bins fill up because a lot of you said to do that. No matter what, I'm still your baby. Isn't I'm still your baby like a... I've been watching a lot of Killing Eve and I swear that's an episode title of Killing Eve. Um, so we're gonna keep that one. <laughs> um, we're gonna get rid of the furniture that we actually didn't need. I'm hoping... Brent, go away. Everyone keeps stealing what I want to use. Okay, recycle from inventory. Take two. Let's try that again. You guys did actually tell me in the comments to the last part that you can find kitchen counters. Um, so I'm going to hold off buying them until like I can hopefully get my hands on them. I don't know if I will. Fingers crossed. We can only hope. Alice, not only can we make things, we can upgrade them. Did you know your fabricator can print electronics? See if they did. There was stuff that we needed to do for work. Check a community board. Okay, can do that. Um, vote on neighborhood action plans. Oh yeah, the vote started today. It's a Friday. I think the vote goes from Friday until Monday. So this is good. 
Um, we currently obviously have green initiatives in. We can have clean energy production, foodies unite, free love, juice community, self-sufficiency, power conservation. I kind of want to go for power conservation. Limit your household's overall consumption of power by avoiding overuse of electronics. We don't have any electronics, so we're already going to be living by that. I mean, juice community is fun, but everyone just walks around like drunk or juiced or dazed and then free love everyone just kind of makes out with everyone um without getting jealous which is fun but i think i want to go for power conservation because like you know v is like go green so that's what we're gonna do and we needed that for our thing as well so vote on neighborhood action plans two separate times okay so we need to definitely keep that in mind and attempt to convince a sim to vote on a neighborhood action plan that we can do do not sort out those compostables um i've been watching so many american simmers and they all say compostables and i feel like i should now say compostables but it's not how it's said it's compostables i am gonna need all of these sims to like stop using the things that i want to use because i just have to reset them all the time and they're not even doing like this guy is just sorting compostables oh no he's actually diving okay i won't judge we found a potato okay well eat that potato before you throw it away wait what bits and pieces did we get oh we got so many that's because of the tv so that's one thing i do like about this pack is that you have to decide like which way you're gonna play it like the stuff that you find in the dumpsters you can either like sell and therefore like buy more things or you can choose to recycle it and create your own thing so it definitely creates these like two diverging paths which is really nice like as a player i like to feel like i have choices um so we are gonna fabricate um an end table we already have a bookshelf an outdoor chair <laughs> spoiler alert we don't have an outdoor balcony anymore um so that's gonna be useless i think we need to for our job i think we need to upgrade something with an eco upgrade part so i might just fabricate a couple of those let me double check i'm gonna pause the game i sorry i feel like i am pausing the game a lot but it's because i don't want like towny sims to jump on these and then like have to reset them perform a handiness or eco parts upgrade on an appliance okay so we're gonna fabricate some eco parts. Why the heck not? Did Judith just steal that off me as well? You're all assholes. I hate every single one of you. Judith, don't come out here pretending like you need to make your own furniture. You are, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Didn't she used to be a worldwide celebrity? Now she's a B-lister. Apparently my Sims aren't the only ones feeling frisky. I don't know who's in there, but I wanna keep an eye out. It's not Judith Ward. I'm just gonna throw it out there. There's a lot of noises coming from this specific dumpster. They're throwing trash everywhere. Oh my goodness. Haley, okay. They are their, their husband and wife, I'm assuming. I don't know if that is the case. We found a plant. Oh my goodness. Cottage core fantasies coming true. This is the beginning, lads. This is the beginning of an end. Oh, this man is just stood in the dumpster. Jeez Louise. All right, so I did say that V needed to perform an eco pro upgrade. So I'm gonna come to the shower. We're gonna upgrade water recycler. With this upgrade, water utility usage is significantly decreased. Um, can we do that? That is using eco parts. Okay, let's do that. Why the heck not? Do that upgrade. Wait, are you about to have a shower? No! Alice, just let V take care of this, okay? For one second. And then Alice actually found some more stuff. We found a bathtub, which is like a jacuzzi. Like, I kind of want to keep it um, because this fits like the cottage vibe that I eventually want, but like this place is tiny. So is it realistic to take up a two by two square? I mean, we could work around it. We could put the bath in here. I mean, it means replumbing our whole apartment, but I don't see any 
we're sticking with it. We we have this bath now, apparently. It's disgusting. And we have the swan throne. Do you believe your royal poops don't stink? Grace the swan throne with your presence. Few toilets are so deserving of all your splendor. I mean, this is just a little bit too fancy for us, I feel like, like once we've cleaned this up. But again, kind of fits the theme. And I did say if we found a toilet, I would replace the one that we had. I'm not gonna, uh, Hmm, I actually kind of want to sell it because I do, I know I said we could use the community lot, but like V has their job and like leaves quite frequently, whereas Alice is like quite a like stay at home bird. So I would quite like Alice to be able to do something at home and we're gonna put this plant we're gonna stick this over here for now. I just really want the little TV. Like, that's what I want right now. I was caught up on the bed for a long while, but now that we have the bed, I'm like, oh, now I really want the old school TV from the dumpster. I'm just gonna recycle that table because I don't want this challenge to be too easy. Um, but let's quickly go to outdoor activities and sort by eco lifestyle um how much is how much is like the candle making station is that gonna be at like activities 550 okay and this one's 735 you guys should tell me down below what do you think we should save for do you think we should save for the candle making table or do you think we should save for the fizzing? Like, I don't know. I feel like she's more of a candle maker right now. I feel like she will eventually like find her place in juice fizzing too. But for right now, she screams like candle maker to me. Um, so you guys should let me know down in the comments. What do you think Alice should be into? I feel like she's quite like me. Like once she gets into a hobby, that's it for like the next six months. And then she will eventually move on quite quickly um when she finds another love but <laughs> that's so like me so you guys should let me know leave it in the comments down below and i will speak to you all in the next part bye guys i just went to round off this day after recording this part and nancy langrab got in touch i've called to inform you that your great great grand second once removed cousin's friend's grandpa <laughs> not realistic in the slightest has passed away and for some reason has left a vast fortune specifically to you will you accept money 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 i feel like that is a that is a sim guru doi that's that's doi's writing right there i feel like doi if you don't know is a massive fan of abba and mamma mia me and doi have that in common and often use mamma mia gifts to actually contact one another um so you can go money 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 give now under what conditions or no thanks i'm i'm slightly cheating i have done under what conditions in my early access playthrough and it gave me the money so i'm gonna say under what conditions boom 2500 that wasn't even a cheat I mean, it slightly was because I kind of knew that that was the option. Oh, very clever. Well, there were some conditions, but one of the conditions was there would be no conditions if you asked if there were any conditions. So there are no conditions. Wait, right? Same, Nancy. That's exactly how I feel about this notification, but I like it. I like the humor. I also like how there's this element of surprise, and I feel like this has been happening in packs recently. I feel like we got that with um, Island Living a little bit, like here or there, and like Sims can actually like contact you to like ask you out on a date, like. Hey, I'm kind of feeling something between us. Do you want to go out on a date? And you can like choose to ghost them, which kind of helps like the story a little bit, which is quite nice. So I like that the game is kind of throwing these in and this comes with eco lifestyle. So I wanted to point that out that this is like to this pack. Um, and we got 2,500, which means we can definitely, we could even afford both juice fizzing and candle making or a recycle machine. Maybe I've forgotten how much they are. I will have a poll anyway. I'll put a poll up and you guys can vote for what activity you think we should get. So candle making, juice fizzing. Why did my voice just like waver when I said that? I have no idea why. And then the recycler is 
845 so we could afford both of them um so a recycler i kind of want to get a recycler it would just be much easier than constantly going to the community lot but we that's why i only want to get two so that like if i do want to get into juice fizzing like we'll have to go back to the makerspace um so yeah just let me know down in the comments i might have a poll up on it but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in i don't know what that was beats me